So my boyfriend bought this butternut squash a couple weeks ago. As you can kind of see, uh, the skin itself is starting to turn. So what I'm gonna do today is turn this into a delicious, really easy, simple butternut squash soup. Uh, it's gonna be roasted, so I'm gonna cut this guy up and we'll put some seasonings and then throw it in the oven. So since that butternut squash was uh, not on the freshest side, uh, I only yielded about two cups when it was all cut up and done. So what I'm gonna do is add just a medium-sized uh, sweet potato. It's gonna be about a cup and a half of cubed sweet potato. And then I'm gonna add some oil and uh, season this up. So I tend to season my butternut squash soup uh, with different things. Today I am going to be using uh, Trader Joe's 21 Salute Seasoning. It's actually a great blend of different uh, seasonings. If you don't have a Trader Joe's near you, you can order it on Amazon. I'll put the link below. So if you go to a Trader Joe's often, I highly suggest picking up a bottle of this. So it's about a tablespoon of 21 uh, Seasoning Salute, a teaspoon of paprika, a uh, half teaspoon of cumin and salt and pepper. I'm just gonna mix this up. Uh, oh, and about a tablespoon of avocado oil. So I'm just gonna make sure that everything in here is coated. And then I'm gonna put it on a parchment lined baking sheet. Put it in a 400 degree oven for about 20, 25 minutes until everything is cooked through. So my butternut squash and sweet potato are all roasted. And so in my blender, I have five cups of vegetable broth that I'm just gonna add all of the veg to. And then, just gonna blend it up. So guys, I just wanna talk about blenders a little bit while this soup is blending up. As you can see, I do have a Vitamix, uh, but it's not necessary for you to make soups. If uh, you have the extra and wanna make an investment in a Vitamix, it's a fantastic blender. But when you're making soups and anything else in your kitchen, you just wanna make sure that your blender is high speed. Uh, for soups, particularly uh, an emerging immersion blender does wonders and that's one of those stick blenders um, those work fantastic and so you just want to make sure that your blender is high speed it can take all of the items in your, your um, bowl and pulverize them and make sure that it all comes together nicely